Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. I was thinking of testing out some Nullsec trading. So here in the main HQ of Brave, Mothership Bellicose, I was looking at the markets here and I see that there's no Gila's in stock at all actually. These uh, seem to be pretty hard to come by. So I was thinking maybe we could perhaps fill this market with some Gila's and maybe we could even earn some profit from this. So what I was thinking is we could actually bring some blueprints here and craft them here or manufacture some of the blueprints here because that, uh, that is something you can actually do. You can bring like you can make the gila's from blueprints so it'll be easier i think to bring blueprints here than a gila uh, so when it comes to the gila it's got a blueprint and this blueprint has certain materials required you can actually buy almost all these material materials apart from this ro trigger unit and the sr trigger unit and these are the most expensive items required for this blueprint and those also don't take a lot of space so what i was thinking is we could actually go to high sec bring those uh, modules down here and then we can also go and get some blueprints with us at the same time. Then we can actually have some nice uh, gilas being made. We can maybe earn some profit. We'll see if we're actually able to get a decent amount of profit here. Okay, so we'll go into the... Will we... We could actually... We could use our... Do we have our malediction? Where is our malediction? I need to get my malediction aboard my corvette. Where is my malediction? My malediction is a couple of jumps away. We'll go there and get that. Actually, to be honest, the malediction might not be so good for this because we would probably want to have uh, a ship that's able to have a decent amount of uh, cargo capacity since these are O trigger units. These R O R O trigger units. They actually are 16 cubic meters each, and we need four of these per gila. And then we also need four of those other ones as well. So we might need a bit more cargo capacity actually. So you know what we could do? We could actually go and just jump clone. I think that'll be a bit easier. Let's go to Verac Stellar Cartography. Uh, back in high sec. They can install another clone here. It's blank and we can jump to that blank clone so we don't have to have a bunch of implants with us. There we go. Okay. Oh my god, there's malediction as well. Perfect. Got another malediction. But we'll have to use something that has a bit more cargo capacity. So we'll unlock here and I'll go to Jita. RO trigger conduit. First, let's check the price of the Gila blueprints. Gila blueprint. Here. Yeah. Maybe we can find this somewhere. Finding contracts. Okay. It's not too expensive. 52, 54 million isk. We'll go with four, three of them. Okay, so let's buy this blueprint here. We'll get Gila blueprint. Okay. Then for the Gila blueprint, we're going to need to have some certain items here. Uh, if we go here and look for this SR, how much space that takes? 16 as well. So if we need 4 per gear, that's going to be 4. And then get 8 of these then here. Okay, here are those neuro conduits that are very expensive. But we need more cargo capacity. So what we're going to do is we're going to probably have to put some expanded cargo holes here perhaps. How much space do we need? I think we're going to be needing a bit more space. Maybe the use Sunesis. Sunesis are quite good. Cargo Nesis. Go for the Gila Brumpets. Neura. And we're going to document the ISK we had to see if we can actually... How much of a profit we'll make here. So we'll put here Notepad. Undock and make our way to the Brave structure okay so in i'm writing here in 859 million which we spent now and then we'll add the cost as well from the stuff we're going to buy in nullsec 2 and we'll see what the total profit will be oh pat then we can type out here because I have a feeling that they will sell quite quickly. Because I can imagine that there are people who want to get Gila's. Gila's are very all-around useful ships. They have a lot of uses. 
OMG, look at that OMG cosmic signature. I just really hope we do not get destroyed on the way there. It's going to be very tragic if that does happen. Okay, we're in the system of Torinos. This is the last system before we enter Nosek. Hopefully we don't go boom. I really hope not because we've got 800 million isk worth of stuff here in our cargo hold. This is a bit of a risk situation here. If I was more prepared I could use like a warp core field stabilizer and maybe go with like a malediction or something that has an expanded cargo hold then maybe I'll be immune to the warp bubbles perhaps or maybe something with a covert ops clock now it's just going in blind oh there's a falcon there Let's see what the situation is here there's a mixed amount of people here Oh, we did the wrong jump. Oh no, oh no, oh no. We did the wrong jump structure. We need to take the jump gate, that's how it was. It's annoying that you can't see the jump gates on the structures. Is there a way to make these show on overview? Yeah, okay, there we go. We can see them here on the overview. Good. It's really annoying having to right click every single time. I really actually should have carried something at least, an MWD at least. This is a really, do not go with this kind of fit. It's a very bad fit I've got here. I know what I was thinking. An MWD is all I would have needed just to maybe exit some minor git camp. And I could have also perhaps use a clocking device as well. But I think I have enough CPU to fit a basic one. Unfair advantage. Yeah, this gate is a bit of an unfair advantage because it enables me to go so deep into Nullsec really quickly. Okay, that's cool. There's nobody here. It's dangerous. So the way I've calculated how much ISK we are using is that I have the value of like this initial ISK here. You can see here 1.2 billion. So then I just must subtract it to whatever we have right now. That's how much we used. Okay, we're almost at the citadel. That's a lot of anomalies. Be nice to rat in them. Let's dock in the brave keep. Oh, great! So we managed to get here unscathed. We're accumulating a lot of clones. Actually, we've got F with two clones already in F dash and MX. Okay, good. So we'll grab all this stuff here. And then we're going to buy everything here. Minus these trigger unit things, these neural links. Multiply this by three. 98 million. Okay, good. Now we're gonna. Oh, input is no longer available. Why can't I use this here? Inspirations factory. Okay, so it seems like. We can't craft here? Oh, I thought we would be able to move stuff here, but it doesn't seem like this is the case. Yeah, we don't have any industry here, actually. So we're going to have to go to this one. Let's go to this one, then. We're going to have to move all this stuff. See if we can just dump everything in a big... Uh, into the, or into our senesis, actually. That's probably possible. I wonder if it's possible to put all the materials. I think these take a lot of space. Yeah, 27,000. Look at that. If we buy something like a Krios, I think we will be able to actually uh, move it. Because Krios is able to have a ton of... Oh, those are expensive. They're able to have a ton of minerals in them. So if we go here, see all these minerals. I'm guaranteeing that we're going to forget something. Mineral hold. Oh, lots of these items are really big capacity. Ugh. That's annoying. I guess we're just going to have to get a really big uh, epithal, I think. How much car capacity does this have? 500. So maybe, maybe we could fit something. No, I don't think so. Oh, oh Iteron. And epithal is the PI one. Iteron. Mark 5. Okay, let's undock and put the items in there. Now get the rest of the minerals in the cryos. We've got like a specialized hangar which you can put the minerals in. Oh, that's nice, it's directly outside as well so you can easily move stuff. 
I was really impressed with actually how big of a capacity that cryos has in terms of its uh, mineral hold. 75,000, really cool. Okay, there we go. Now we got everything here. Hopefully we've got everything here. Start. Start. And start. Perfect. Oh, we've got lots of extra stuff as well. Why well, have got extra stuff? Hmm, maybe they've got like a efficiency thing in this citadel so they don't need to use as much materials, maybe? Perhaps, let's see, okay. How much money do we have to use? We have to also negate some of the money we use on buying these ships. We bought some ships here. Okay, so we had one, two, two, nine million. And then we minus two, five, five. So that's how much we spent. But then we also have to take into consideration that we did buy uh, some ships here. So these two ships, I believe. Market transactions. Let's see if we can find the date here. It to run. So it's basically 10 million. So we'll subtract 10 million from this here. So we spent 964 million isk. 964 million. So let's say if we want to make 20 mil profit per gila, that would be then plus 60. 964 plus 60 divided by 3. If we sell each gila for 340 million, we should turn out with a profit. We probably could sell it for even more, like 349 million. You can see if it's possible to sell it for that price. If it is, that's really cool. And G to the sell value is 326 million, so it's not too off, actually. Hmm. That's pretty cool. And then we've also got 4 million extra as well. We had a spare. So I'm very curious to see if we can sell these. We'll keep, let's check if that's going to give us some decent profit. I think I will. I have a feeling that it will. they will sell quite quickly because I can imagine there's a lot of people who want to buy gears. Hopefully that'll be really cool. Adding 60 million just by doing a quick hauling run like this. That'll be really nice. It was very dangerous though, you know, moving that Sunesis. We definitely have to get a better hauler for that. But we're going to have to see next time what we can get for those gears. Until then, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something new. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.